Since the late 50s, American Express has been issuing charge cards proudly displaying their iconic Roman Centurion logo. But in 2024, using a representative of a certain ethnic group as your logo is becoming a sensitive issue. And certain brands have decided to ditch those logos altogether. And some have even ditched the logo and the name, erasing any connection with the ethnic group that they were once associated with. And American Express is the latest company to come to this realization. Some call it going woke, some call it social justice. We talked to Susan Thomas, VP of Product Development at American Express, about what's going on. Yeah, so we've been thinking about ditching the logo for quite some time now because, um, you know, it might be offensive to some Italian Americans or actually even real Italians for that matter. Um, and you may have seen we've been experimenting in our advertising with, um, you know, different heads inside the the circle. But it wasn't until Lando Lakes made their change that we realized we could just completely remove a reference to a minority culture and just have an empty circle. And then we wouldn't offend anyone. So as of today, that is what American Express has done. Let me unveil the new green, gold, platinum, and of course the Centurion card. I mean the black card. Oh, actually that doesn't sound good either. Um, what are we, what are we calling it? Oh, the, 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 the diversity card to celebrate the diversity of our card members' backgrounds. The new diversity card now celebrates the diverse socioeconomic backgrounds of the ultra high net worth individuals who hold it. People like Sean Puffy Coombs and Sam Bankman Fried. But were Italian Americans actually offended in the first place? Oh, yeah. I was offended. I mean, Romans are our ancestors. That's our culture that American expresses ripping away from us. I mean, they're making money off us. They should at least be paying us for the trademark or something or giving us a rewards or more of a percentage on our APR or something like that. You know, my brother Mario, he also feels this way. So this may be a win for social justice, but American Express is now under pressure from certain lobbying groups to go even further. Some groups feel that our policies are discriminatory because um, they want equity of outcome. For example, they ask, why is it only people who carry a balance who have to pay interest? Why not just divide that interest among all the card members so everyone pays a portion? They also want us to get rid of uh, credit checks altogether and just give cards to anyone who applies. And um, they have proposed that we also get rid of the income requirements requirements for the Centurion card, um, sorry, uh, the black card, uh, I'm sorry, the diversity card. But Susan Thomas thinks some of these proposals are going too far. Yeah, uh, some of those proposals are slightly too extreme. So um, we've decided to meet them halfway. We have hired uh, Dylan Mulvaney for our next advertising campaign. These are the days of girlhood. Happy, Happy April, April Fool's Day. Day. All right, guys. So this was obviously an April Fool's video. We know Amex is going a little bit woke, but I don't think they're taking it that far. Hopefully we made you laugh. Um, in my opinion, though, many of these companies and sports teams, they have gone a bit far, right? I mean, we had the example of the Redskins. I think probably the name was a bit outdated, a little bit racist. So it's kind of, you know, uh, you know, logical that they would update it. However, getting rid of the logo altogether, if you research it, that logo was actually drawn by a American Indian, a Native American member of the Blackfeet tribe, and he proposed that logo to the team. He drew it, it was a certain Indian chief from their tribe, and he was very proud of it. His son actually wrote an opinion piece in USA Today um, talking about how him and his community uh, were pretty proud of it and it was sad to see it go. Obviously, some other people in the community had different opinions. So these things are all complicated. We don't normally cover this stuff on this channel, but it does interest me, these uh, political things and different opinions. We love having different opinions. And that's why I brought Holly on the show, our uh, Amex VP of product development, Susan Thomas. She does have a show where she talks about serious topics, debates, hard news topics. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about your new channel? Yeah, so it's called Newspeak, and it's all about the news media, um, journalists, uh, how they do their job. We really take a behind-the-scenes look. We, you know, we do a deep dive into journalism stories. And if you're interested in knowing the news behind the news, then follow me at Newspeak. 
That's right. Uh, we will put the icon for her channel on screen now. It's going to look like this face here. So just see this face somewhere on the screen. And um, yeah, you can click through. You can check out her channel. She's got a few videos up there already, and she's going to be posting more. Thanks a lot, Holly, for joining us. Thank you, Ben. Happy April Fool's Day, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.